Hello, beautiful souls. I hope you're well. Um, today, I wish to share with you uh, a transmission from the Mela Collective. I've been feeling this morning in my meditation that um, some sort of uh, message had to be shared. Uh, actually, it's interesting because uh, when I woke up this morning, I was asking my guidance um, if there was a way in which I could amplify uh, my connection with uh, not only my, my higher self, um, my higher self part, but also my guidance from, uh, from my exterior guidance of high vibration, which is the Mela Collective, uh, but also my galactic family and, you know, what. And um, I received some, some, some in intuitions, some answers, and I think they will be beneficial to everyone who probably uh, might be struggling also with uh, trying to connect more deeply and more fluidly mostly with uh, one's own uh, guidance, may it be inner higher self guidance or exterior uh, of high vibration guidance. So here is the, what they, they shared with me. We are the Mela Collective and we greet you. We realize that you find sometimes difficult and you struggle in trying to connect with us in the most fluid possible way. And uh, in these times of transmission and great chaos within your planet and among your people, um, sometimes there is a lot of noise and that becomes difficult. And not only the noise is a challenge, but also the inner noise from the uh, from the, the mind and the ego part of yourself, which, as you know, have been programmed to interfere with your uh, own inner light and inner wisdom of the higher self and of your exterior guidance of high vibration. And... Um, we have uh, often uh, spoke, spoken about meditation as a, as a good way to go within and stay in contact with your own high frequency. We realize, however, that for some people it might be difficult to meditate, especially in those days, as we have just said, of um, a lot of noise and, and, and uh, mental noise and outside noise. So we wish to also share other uh, ways in which you can uh, find uh, a fluid and a perpetual contact with your inner self, with your higher self, with your inner wisdom, and with your exterior higher vibration uh, guidance that is related to you, such as your perhaps your galactic family or your... Uh, yeah, your, your, your guidance from, from exterior sources, which are, of course, of high vibration. Very important to insist on this and not be, uh, be in discernment and not be uh, um, relying on vibrations that are of low energy and that you feel that are, they are of low energy. Now, uh, when our channel Gael asked us, in which ways uh, she could amplify that contact with us, but also with uh, her own higher self. Um, we immediately um, proposed or invited her through telepathic imagery, um, uh, the, the use of uh, reverie, dream, daydreaming, and music because those are uh, tools that, ex that very much resonate with her. We realize this might not be tools that resonate with everyone. Uh, those are only suggestions and, and, and ideas for those who resonate with, with uh, these types of activities or states of being. Um, you do realize, however, that music's frequency and frequencies is energy and that this is what constitutes the universe and frequencies are especially when they are of course of high vibration uh, they are extremely powerful and they can bring you in states of being of either very high vibration or low vibration as you have probably noticed in your life certain um, pieces of music will bring you down as you say or bring you up 
And so we invite you to make use of the frequencies of music to amplify as an amplifier to your connection to your higher self, to your inner wisdom, and to your high vibration guidance, may it be exterior or interior. And another uh, important uh, tool would be reverie or daydreaming, because when you are in that state of daydreaming, and we take, for example, when you are laying, laying down on your bed or on a, on a, on a seat, or sitting on a, on a bench in a park, or when you are sitting on a rock in nature, or any type of sitting down, or just being somewhere, and not focus on your thoughts, but just perhaps look in a direction that's kind of hazy, and that doesn't is not uh, related to a specific target. And you're just there and you can have your eyes open or your eyes closed. And you can feel a different uh, state of being. And this is a little bit uh, what, um, um, what meditation is, but also what uh, hypnosis state is. And the theta, the theta. Um, waves which bring you a sort of altered state in which you, you can be in higher vibration and deeply connected to your inner wisdom and inner, inner soul. And also you receive without necessarily realizing and without having any expectations or any, you're not trying to force things, you're, you're suddenly going to receive images, telepathic images or words or or feelings, depending if you're more of a visual or, or if you're clairvoyant or clairaudient or if you're clairsentient or if, you're, if you have claircognizance, which is the case for our channel gal, she's suddenly going to have an inner knowing that something is the way it is. And that's something that she reaches more easily when, when she's in a daydreaming state or uh, when she's closing her eyes and is in meditation or listening to music or walking in nature. So we just wished to offer these other um, alternatives to uh, not only grounding uh, and connecting to your higher self and your higher, higher energy or high frequency guidance, uh, because not everybody wants or needs or wishes to meditate or is able to. And music can be a great way, as well as reverie and daydreaming, to uh, reach uh, states of uh, higher vibration and consciousness in a way. So this is all we wish to share with you today. We invite you to find within yourself what resonates the most with your own being, with your own frequencies, may it be in terms of music, in activities or places you resonate with. And we honor all your efforts and all your, your all everything you do in order to ground yourself, but also to connect with your higher self and your guidance of high vibration, because this is the way in which you can feel that you're not alone. And that also that you feel that you can be of high vibration and of great service to the Tehran Collective and to yourself as well. So this is very important in those times of um, bringing light and, 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 great high energies into your world. We salute you and we thank you for everything you do. So this is um, the essence of what they shared. And to me, it was very useful. And I really intend to use those tools much more. I used to use those tools much more before when I was younger. But with the adult life, I was on, you know, the, the pro program we're receiving in our society is telling us, you know, stop daydreaming or, you know, dreaming or being, you know, dreaming of certain things while listening to music is, is teenage stuff. And, but no, this is creative energy. This is how with imagination, with daydreaming, you create your reality because you associate emotions and music to this. And it becomes an incredible, um, accelerator of high energy and of, and of creation of, uh, of energy. So we, 
you know, um, I'm, I'm going to try to, to apply this more in my life because um, I think it's going to be of great use. So I just wanted to, a great help, I mean. So I just wanted to share that with you. I hope it's going to be of use to you today. And I invite you again, and as usual, to keep your vibrations high and to explore these tools and find your inner child again. Try to find within your inner child a desire to daydream, to listen to music, to be a little bit giddy or to be dance or do things that you probably don't usually do every day as an adult. All right. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs>